I've had an idea for a YouTube channel for a long time to basically create cinematic little short films around historical events, specifically around old empires like the Roman Empire, Egyptians, Persians. And I tried this seven, eight years ago with kind of animation apps, but it took a really long time, like seven, eight hours to create a little short five minute cinematic movie. But now there is a new platform called LTX Studio. And with this, I could do this maybe in 15 minutes. I could take my time and maybe 30 minutes, get a really nice polished cinematic movie. So I wanna show you exactly how to do it. I'm gonna first start with some prompts inside of ChatGPT, then I'll use LTX Studio to finish this up. And before I show you the step-by-step -step process starting in ChatGPT, this is basically what the finished video looks like in a storyboard format. And then let me show you a quick 30 second preview of this video out of LTX Studio. In the year 68 AD, the Roman Empire trembles as Emperor Nero's once glorious reign begins to crumble. Rome, once a symbol of power and stability, teeters on the edge of chaos. Rebellions ignite throughout the empire, fueled by the discontent of the masses and the ambition of rival factions. Nero's most trusted allies abandon him one by one, and even the loyal Praetorian Guard, the elite soldiers sworn to protect the Emperor, turn against him. And that took me maybe 15-20 minutes, including coming up with my shot list, including actually using LTX Studio to come up with different variations of images, picking a different voice over the music, all that was all done with AI. Now, this is LTX Studio, they're sponsoring this video, and I did create a complete walkthrough video on exactly how to use it from scratch. But I will show you some things that I did not show in the last video. So I'll link that video in the description too if you kinda wanna see a detailed walkthrough. And they do have a wait list, so you could sign up right now on the wait list. I'll link that in the description as well. Now to get started, this is basically the homepage of LTX Studio. I'll just have to type in a full synopsis here but I'm gonna use ChatGPT to kind of give me some ideation. So let me show you that process. So inside of ChatGPT, I'm gonna use this prompt. I need a synopsis for a historical fiction story set in the Roman Empire. The story should be based on actual historical events and characters and so on. So I'll go ahead and add this in the description too if you just wanna copy and paste it. Again, you could change Roman Empire with whatever type of story you wanna tell. And I got five here and he gave me a synopsis here and he gave me some historical context. Let's do Spartacus here. I'm gonna copy this over. Okay, so I'll come back to ChatGPT because we actually wanna keep going with this conversation a little bit more. But I'll go to LTX here and I'll just paste this to show you what ends up happening. Okay, right after I press next, basically this is what ends up happening completely automatic with AI in the background. It creates a cast for us, so then we could have recurring character in our little movie, right? Otherwise, it's always gonna be inconsistent if we generate these images one at a time. And then it's gonna give us this visual aesthetic. Now they have ton of different ones available here, but usually choosing cinematic or this base one is gonna give you the best results. It's the most realistic look to it. But I really like this anime option. The comic book option is really fun. This one is one of my favorite option, aspect ratio. So 16 by nine, if you're telling stories that are two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, even longer, this is the cinematic look, right? 16 by nine. But if you're doing kind of short form, you could do YouTube shorts, you could do Instagram reels, for example. So that might be a really cool way to just go viral quicker. Those platforms are easier than traditional YouTube, but I'm more familiar with YouTube. I'm gonna choose that option. And then here's an option I did not cover in the last video, but this is really fun. They have this option for face switching. So I'm just gonna drop a picture of myself here. So this is this guy. I'm gonna switch it with me. I'm gonna cast myself into this. I have the screenshot from a video. Let me try that. Okay, that kind of looks like me. That's not too bad. So you could kind of do things like this. You could do this with any image you have and using a close up usually will get you a better result. And then this becomes your character throughout your whole story after that. In this case, I will take myself out. I'll just revert back to the original cast, which was this guy. And if you go ahead and press edit here, you also could change their clothing. You could actually assign a voice to them. You could change this later too, your appearance. All this is editable here. So make sure you get your cast right and then press start right over here. And in about 30 seconds, you got yourself a story over here completely created with AI, every piece of it. The video clips, the audio, the different scenes, the shots within the scene, all generated completely automatic. So I just went from the synopsis to this, 
but this time I'm gonna take more manual control, okay? That last video, I let the AI do a lot of the heavy lifting. This one, I really wanna refine it. I wanna actually add my own shots, maybe even my own scenes. I'm gonna change the voiceover, but let me show you exactly what happened here. So you have scene one, and then as you scroll down, there's scene two and so on. And within each scene, you have your individual shots. So this is shot one, shot two, and then each scene is gonna have a number of shots. What I wanna do here is I wanna go ahead and first add narration that I really like. So if you come up here, there is the voiceover tab. And with voiceover, you could change the character's voices and you could change the narrator's voice. So I listen to pretty much all of them. I'll just let you hear this first one and the one I picked. If one is lucky, a solitary fantasy can totally train. This one's pretty cool, but I went all the way down here and for what I'm trying to create, which you heard in the demo, this one is a good one. On every thorn, delightful wisdom grows in every room. Okay, so I'm gonna choose this guy and I'm gonna apply it. Now this is gonna become my voiceover. And then what I wanna do next is over here, within each scene, you have a little bit of sound section here that says voiceover. And this is basically created, again, totally with AI in LTX Studio. I haven't typed in my own. But this is basically in first person. But the story I'm trying to create for my YouTube channel is gonna be in third person. A narrator is gonna tell that story. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this out. Okay, the next prompt I gave, I said create five scenes for story number two, which was that Spartacus story, to tell a comprehensive story and give me narration voiceover for each scene under 150 characters. And the reason why I said 150 characters because I'm trying to tell a story that's a minute or two and if you want more than that, you just have to create more shots in that scene per scene. But in this case, about three or four shots are gonna give me enough length to have 150 characters. Then I'm gonna take this narration. This is for scene one. And I'm gonna go back over here. And this was my scene one. I'm still on scene one. So I'm gonna paste that into this box. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. So that's gonna become the voiceover for scene one. And then what I could do is I could actually keep going down the list and take the narration here for the rest of the scenes. So I have five scenes. So I'll go back to scene two. I'll go ahead and add the next one and so on. So I'll do that to all the five scenes. Okay, now I need to actually go ahead and customize my shot. So as you could see, with every shot that you see, this frame is created from this prompt right here. This was again, all automated. So this one, I just pressed plus, so it created it without a prompt. But basically the way these prompts work is you could type in the add mention sign and pull in one of your characters that will pull in one of your characters from the casting we did in the beginning and then type basically what they're doing, what setting they're in. And then underneath that, the shot type. So close up is close up of the face. You could do a wide shot, establishing shot, kind of a really wide shot would be establishing shot. So the first one was a wide shot and the next one was a close up. So you kind of get an idea of shot composition here. And then what I'm gonna do in this case is I'm gonna go back to ChatGPT and I like scene one. So I'm gonna ask it for three shots. So it's gonna give me those three different shots. So here's one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And if I go back here, I could just change this prompt out like this. And if he has Spartacus in it, I'm just gonna type in the app mention sign and bring him in so he uses it from our cast and doesn't create a new person here. And that will be our shot right over here. And if I decide to change the shot size, maybe ChatGPT is not gonna tell me wide shot close up. I could just do that from this drop down over here. If I don't like what it's giving me here, I could just press this one and it's gonna again use this same prompt I just copy and pasted. You could obviously type your own here. I'm just using ChatGPT to kind of speed up the process but the whole chat GPT is totally optional. Okay, so this looks like a more of a wide establishing shot over here, right? And then what I could do is then I could go and take shot two. Okay, this looks much better. So I got the different shots here that chat GPT prompted for me. And what I could do now is I just wanna listen to the voiceover for the scene to kind of see if these three shots make sense. If I press play, I don't have to animate it yet. I don't have to turn it into a video. Let me just give it a quick listen. Captured and enslaved, Spartacus endures brutal training in Capua, igniting the spark of rebellion. And if I want to add more shots, again, I could ask ChatGPT for an extra prompt, or I could just press the plus sign. Okay, now we have a complete scene. We have all the shots that we want. 
Now we could actually go ahead and generate videos out of these so they move. Right now, it's just one frame. So a couple of different options you have that are really interesting. One is you could edit the frame. Let me just show you what these options let you do. You could remove objects completely. Look at this. Let's say I don't like this guy here. Let me go ahead and select this guy. Look at that. That guy just disappeared <laughs> from the shot just like that by removing object. You could always choose generative fill. And this one lets you kind of put someone back or put in something that's not in the shot. You just select. And then once you select, it's going to give you a prompt box. And you just type in something to generate that. In this case, this is looking perfect. I'm going to go ahead and just cancel that. You also could go to the full blown shot editor, which gives you a whole lot more options. So this is where you could change your prompt, for example, and shoot your shot size. And then underneath that, you have this section for motion. So if you have the natural option right now, your scene is going to have a mixture of the subjects moving and the camera moving. But sometimes you just want to move the camera. So a little pushing on the camera might be nice. But I really like this natural option for most of the ones I've tested out. And I like to dial back the scale. Usually I found if you go really high with this, you're going to get unexpected results, at least right now. So I'm going to dial this back to somewhere over here. And then you could go ahead and change the duration of the shot too if you want. And you could add sound effects to this specific shot too. And then you could go ahead and generate the video from here. Or you could always, just from the storyboard, if you don't want to really take your time per shot, if you just want this to be more efficient, I would just go ahead and change the motion slider here to be a little bit lower. It's always going to use that default setting. So if you just dial these back, you could go ahead and animate and generate the video. This is totally optional, by the way. If you go to preview and export and export, it will actually animate everything. But I like to kind of see what these look like. So I usually just generate the videos. And then when they get generated, I could press the play here once it's done to see what it looks like. Okay, let's take a look. So a couple of these are done. Okay, all three are done. So let me just go ahead and press play on that. That's looking pretty good. Nice slow motion, dramatic. And this one's looking pretty good too. Not bad. Let's look at this one. Okay, pretty good. These are all looking pretty good. Again, with this dial down. So I can experiment with this. I could just go ahead and raise this if I want to see what happens with more motion generate the video again, just to kind of gauge where the fine balance is between getting too much motion and getting a very realistic look out of these cinematic shots. Let me show you now, once you get this kind of dialed in, you could actually go up here to the soundtrack and there is music that this has already created for us to go along with our story. Let me give it a quick listen. Okay, that's really good. And he just took these three words here to go ahead and create that. And then project setting here, everything can be changed. The one thing is I usually create something in the complete cinematic style, finish it all out and export it out. But then if I want to change it to a different style like anime, all I have to do is come and change this visual aesthetics. And just to show you, they have a ridiculous amount of them. And if I press apply over here, it basically goes and recreates all the first frame of the shot. The story remains exactly the same. So what if you wanted to make a YouTube channel that was all anime based on Roman Empire stories? That could be a really cool concept. And <laughs> look at that. That looks awesome. And if I change my mind, this is the really cool part. That cinematic style I chose before. If I select that and press apply in real time, it goes back to what I had before. It remembers everything. Okay, now all I have to do is come up here and press preview and export. It's going to let me render this, but it's just basically saving this out. And even if you haven't pressed generate video on any of your shots, this will go ahead and do that now. But I recommend you do take your time to make sure the shots are created nicely with enough motion here. So they're moving, but not too much where it looks a little unnatural. So this is gonna go to work and usually it's pretty fast. Captured and enslaved, Spartacus endures brutal training in Capua, igniting the spark of rebellion. Okay, cool. So what I would do is after I look at it and I feel like some of these shots could be better, I would just go back and I would go ahead and edit these individual shots. So I would just go to the shot editor here. I've already created a couple of these. I may want to generate this first image again to see if I get a better image. 
I do want to play around with the scale here. So maybe I'll try one with the scene option or the natural option. I just did this in real time and it's not bad at all, right? I could obviously fine tune it a little bit. The technology is getting better and better every time I've tested this out. Again, I've tried this now for a couple months now that I've had early access to LTX Studio. And I think this has a crazy amount of potential. Let me know what you think of this platform in the comments below. I wanna thank LTX Studio for supporting this channel. And I will be making more videos on this because I just find this so fascinating and they improve it all the time. Just today when I was making this video, I found a couple of different new improvements here that I did not catch the last time around. I think they just added them. So I'm really excited to dive deeper, try to really create this channel that I wanted to create using these Roman stories and maybe adding more significant historical events to that as well. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.